Hi, my name is Scott Youngblood. I'm the lead designer here at Red 5 Studios working on our first game, Firefall. And I'm James McCauley, the executive producer. We're excited to have you here with us in our Tiki Lounge. This has been the centerpiece to Red 5 Studios over the years. This Tiki Bar was actually one of our first corporate purchases and is a symbol of really who we are as a team, as a tribe of inspired gamers. We spend a lot of time sitting around here, enjoying each other's company, socializing, thinking through design elements of the game, and enjoying a tasty beverage or two. So we asked uh, you guys to go ahead and put together some video questions about what you wanted to know about Firefall. So this is our chance to get together and respond to some of those questions. Down the road, if you have further questions, feel free to submit those to firefallthegame.com. Can't make any promises that we will answer those, but Matt will pretty much give you a personal call no matter what. <laughs> no, just kidding about that last part. We really appreciate the community's involvement and the questions that you've been sending us on our forums as well as via the, the video questions. And we're excited to answer as many questions as we can. So let's get to the first question now. All right. So here's my quick video response to RIP5. My question is, how about servers? We know there will be different channels, but how will they work? Will people be restricted with their character to their zone? Uh, how about PvP? Is it instanced? Is it limited to your channel? Uh, stuff like that, just general on how the servers are going to work. Thank you. Okay, so some really great questions about our open world experience and some questions in there about PvP. For Firefall, we want you to be able to quickly and easily get together with your friends no matter what server they're on. So when you download Firefall, sign in, you'll create a character, you'll be able to join any channel of New Eden, which is our open world experience. As far as PvP goes, our matches are instanced, they're match made, you can join into competitive uh, matches which are based on your skill, um, or unranked matches so you can join up with your friends and compete against each other. I just added a feature. Mm -hmm. Really the only thing that you need to know is like I want to play on the West Coast servers. Once you've signed up for the West Coast servers, you should be able to easily find and play with your friends in whatever part of Firefall you feel like participating in. Playing with your friends is the most important thing in terms of a social shooter experience. So we definitely want to make that fun, easy, and rewarding. Hey, Red5, this is Firewater um, from Cybernetic Punks. And my question to you is, how much autonomy will the competitive community have in terms of being able to set up practice matches, um, just to run around the map and practice itself, just to explore it, and to set up uh, leagues and or tournaments to uh, progress competitive play. So Firefall is really kind of geared toward being a competitive esports style shooter. So we're definitely interested in making sure that the community, the players in your army, everyone has all of the tools that they need to be successful in Firefall. So if this means giving you guys the ability to set up your own practice matches or scrimmages, we believe that that's something that would be of great value. So why not? All right, so as far as being able to set up tournaments, uh, this is something that you know we're gonna be doing ourselves, right? Playing this game competitively is something that, that we're really trying to push the envelope and providing you know, the space where you can go and do this with little, little effort on your own. But you know, there's always a chance that we may not have thought of the perfect feature that you might want for a ladder or a tournament system. So if you don't know or you don't think we might be incorporating your favorite feature, please feel free to ask, we'll try to get that in. But uh, I think the tournaments, what we're planning on doing with the tournaments of Firefall will be pretty compelling. Hey, Red5, Peta Pez here, responding to your request for questions, uh, custom emblems for your army. The question, I, my, my question is, uh, is there going to be like a, a tool that you give us to create those? We definitely will have a tool to create custom logos for armies. We want the players to be able to have a lot of creative freedom in order to make their mark in the world of Firefall. In fact, for PAX, we actually did a demonstration of four different armies that each had their own custom logo with their own identifiable colors to help distinguish them from each other. And that's exactly what we want players to be able to do. Hello humans of Red 5. My questions are as follows. We have seen robotic turrets in the cinematic trailer. Are there more instances of robots and autonomous machines in Dredge? Speaking of autonomy, Will the majority of vehicles in the game be autonomous or player controlled? So the year is 2233. We have discovered some incredible energy resources that have allowed us to really quickly advance our technology. So the world is populated with autonomous machines that are doing various jobs around New Eden and around the world. 
Uh, regarding vehicles, there's a little bit of both. In the video we showed back in September, you noticed that we jumped on a dropship. This was an automated flight path that took us from Coral Forest up to Dredge. Uh, but you may have also noticed there may have been some vehicles in the background. Those are being driven by players. Hey Red 5, Agent Smith here. Do you guys plan to stop at four battle frames for the development of the game, or do you want to expand on that after launch as the game progresses? Do you want to uh, come up with maybe some more interesting things? <laughs> Can I tell them the truth? <laughs> four is a terrible number. We would never do four battle frames. We absolutely intend to be uh, expanding the number of battle frames that we uh, make available to the players after launch. Uh, we've got a whole lot of battle frame ideas that, uh, that we're looking forward to implementing. There's, there's no shortage of good ideas for uh, fun battle frames to play, I assure you. It's just going to be a matter of how quickly we will be able to make them really fun and playable. And I believe that's it. Thank you so much for your questions, guys. Yeah, thanks a lot. Really good questions. Keep them coming. We'll try to answer more in future Dev Diaries. So We really appreciate you taking the time to give us feedback, suggestions, ideas, thoughts. It's really uh, what we're all about. We're trying to make this game the best that it possibly can be for you. And your feedback greatly matters. Thanks. Keep it real. Rock and roll. Peace out. Booyakasha. Break it down. Respect. <laughs>